What's going on collectors optical 20 back for another video review this time it's predators classic predator from the movie predators That's kind of redundant uh, From hot toys. This is the special edition They're not available anymore at the major retailers But if you want any more hot toys head over to bigbadtoystore.com. Just click the link down below um, What can I say? I regretted selling this figure. I just dug this in my hard drive. I got a new laptop I was looking around, I was like, hey, I, I shot this three years ago and uh, never really posted it. That's why it looks a bit different than my most recent uh, reviews. You can see the side one says Classic Predators. The box is amazing. Uh, the top, just simple Predators out there. Um, I regretted selling this figure. One of these, anytime that it's a classic, um, you know, I think you must own it, uh, especially if they're gonna make more predators don't get me wrong they're continually gonna make more predators i don't know if they're gonna make another classic predator i hope they do so i don't regret this uh, at all but one thing that i did regret about selling this is that it comes with a lot so even if they make another predator or classic predator i don't know if it's gonna come with this much accessories because this is one of those figures where it's not how do i say this it's not super old uh, it is old but it doesn't look old there are older figures like the, the the old Thor the first Thor it didn't you know it didn't age well uh, it did came with a lot of accessories it came with the helmet the, the base and everything but you can see the head sculpt is just yeah uh, with this guy I mean you can make a comparison between this what is this maybe a four-year-old maybe more of a figure and you can I can take this and sit it right next to let's say the, the upcoming wolf predator and I don't think it's gonna look so much different than that actually I think this is you know the, the purists are gonna appreciate this more if you know not the non hot toys collectors are gonna appreciate him more because he has more of the classic design you know in my opinion but uh, it's it's one of those things where I was like I, I was gonna make money out of it so I just decided to sell it and as you can see here there's tons of accessories or replaceable parts with this guy different hands as you can see here nicely painted um, as usual per hot toys you just gotta be careful that's not a scratch right there by the way it's just reflection um, and again even if it is I don't have this figure anymore so uh, for a while now too um, you got some spikes on those hands it's a bit shiny it looks like they have some slime on it overall I I love this figure uh, but this was I was in a crossroads here you know and what am I gonna keep as far as figures are concerned and he does have you can replace the faceplate of his gauntlet this is kind of like the uh, uh, thermal you know I was going to say thermal detonator. I'm, saying I'm watching Star Wars way too much. But uh, yeah, when he was trying to commit suicide, you know, that's what he pressed. He got some mandibles out there. Um, he got some open ones and closed mandibles, uh, which is something that I believe is not included in the Wolf Predator, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think he has an open one, at least not on the previews. Uh, I saw the previews, the pictures, and all that stuff, and it doesn't look like he comes with one. I could be wrong, though. Uh, this is the, the lower part of the mandible, so it looks like he's uh, he has teeth underneath, because if you take out the bio mask, it, it is hollow. So, But this one comes with, you can kind of see it now, he comes with two separate bio masks. Uh, it, one is uh, battle damage, when he got punched by Berserker. And it's nicely detailed there's a crack in there um, nicely painted it looks metallic even though obviously it is plastic it does light up you can see that I don't know what it, what the what it's made but it looks like carbon fiber that's I don't know it's a bio mask so no one knows uh, it, you know there's a lot of nice details in this mask as well and if you zoom out here he comes with another bio mask which is uh, a more not battle I mean it's still battle damage you can see a lot of scratches and dings on it but it's intact it's full so you can display him in you know different mask which is pretty awesome as you can see here the uh, scratches in the paint application is is different which is pretty awesome if, in my opinion so they I'm pretty sure it's the same 
maybe I wouldn't say the same mold because obviously the other one is battle damage, but you know they could have just used the same pattern, but they did. You know, so kudos kudos to Hot Toys for that. Some uh, holographic images of I believe the planet Predator. So in the movie, you know, he kind of pushed the button and this came out. And it's a really nice effect. It translated well into the figure. So he does have this light up forearm, kind of like an Iron Man. It does light up and it shines through that. And this is the exclusive edition that you were only going to get from Sideshow. Now you can only get this figure in a third party like eBay or, you know, somewhere else. But if this is all you're trying to get, don't. It's pretty useless, honestly. Um, I just happen to have the. Ex I, I was like that before. You know, if it's exclusive edition, that's where I'm going for. Even though the accessory that is included is utterly useless. So that is one of those. So if the price difference is huge, by huge, I mean more than $20, $30, go with the regular version. I mean, you know, once you get that, I, the satisfaction of having an ex exclusive will wear off pretty uh, pretty easily and then if you're not sure about the figure once you sell them i guess it's always more uh, when you sell an exclusive edition but if you're going to keep it it's you know it's not a deal breaker honestly uh one of the best things about this figure is this diorama base so you can see now i'm trying to get a close-up here it is phenomenal it looks great i love the textures of it um, it looks like one of those graveyard if you've seen the movie that's where classic predators being held he's being tortured so i'm guessing that he's not the only one there's some skin some you know uh, remains of older predators or humans and things of that nature so i mean it looks great it doesn't take up a lot of space space at the bottom because the base is not wide although on top it gets a little bit wider but uh, overall, I love it. You know, I love this base. You can use it for multiple purposes, you know, not just predators. So anything primal or any figures that, that kind of resembles, you know, monsterish or anything like that. As far as the figure itself, it looks phenomenal. Again, there's a reason why I regret selling this figure. Um, it's classic. It looks great. Uh, compared to the older Predators, which Hot Toys were making where you're trying to assemble them and all that stuff. Uh, this looks current, even though it's older. Um, there's a lot of things going on, yet it, it, it gives you the, the classic feel. And I know some somewhere online or on the forum, somebody's selling the kit where he's going to have a necklace and all that stuff. So if you want to look more authentic... Um, you can buy those kits. I'm pretty sure they're not that expensive, but right off the box I I never really go for those uh, unless it's really really necessary uh, I didn't even get the uh, Batman kryptonite spear even though I think that's a, a vital part of the movie But this one uh, you don't really need those um, Those kits you'll be fine without those. I mean if you want to you could I'm just saying right off the box I enjoyed having this figure um, I hated that transition in my, you know, I, I, every, every collector is going to hit a, a transition in his, in his collecting life where it's going to be like, oh, I'm just going to collect this, you know, I'm just going to be Iron Man or Marvel or DC and I'm going to get rid of other ones. And then you do, and then you just realize that you made a mistake. That's what I did with him. Although I'm, I'm pretty sure if I want to, I can get him again, you know, for cheap, not cheap, but, um, maybe somewhere around at the 250 200 range but yeah it's there's a lot of new figures coming out uh for my channel it doesn't really make sense for me to get them again but you know just just for my own i guess sanity and here's the the plug for those who doesn't have any predators yet yeah i just put the the, the wire out specifically so you guys can see it but you can nicely hide it underneath his dreadlocks right there but just to show you that's where you kind of like plug it in so it would light up and also the back that his med kit i believe it's right there and also where the battery is is inserted if i'm not mistaken like i said i've had this video for in my archives for quite some time now um i think three years since i sold this i just got inspired um you know going back at this because of the, the new movie i've seen it it wasn't the best it wasn't the worst movie that i've seen either um it's 
okay. I'm not. Maybe I'm just not one of those guys who who's really passionate about like cinematography and all that stuff. It's under. You know, I guess there's some points are entertaining. There's some points that it's like why, why, why is this happening? But overall, it's okay. You know, I don't look too much into it. You know, if I had to uh, pick a choice, don't watch it. You know, <laughs> but it's not memorable. Don't watch it in the theaters, at least. Wait for it it's, till it's in the cable or something. So it's free. But yeah, he got this gun right here. So, but you got to be careful. These are the uh, delicate parts of the Predator, as always. You know, if they drop and it's and it's outside like that, you might break it off. I mean, you can always super glue something, but that's just how it is. And this is the gauntlet, which you can again, like I said earlier, you can replace the the face plate of this. This is the hole is that's where you're gonna insert those holographic images that I showed you earlier. Um, you can see, you can turn it on and the light comes out of that yellow spot you know you open it up that's uh, it's it's pretty cool honestly it's uh yeah you just put it like so um you can open it up too and, and put it right here. there you go this is uh either way i guess you're fine i don't know why they put a hole on the outside where i guess just to give the differential between the two they they sh don't have oh well, you could my apologies i didn't watch this beforehand so you just put it up there there's gonna be a lot of blurry images in here uh also my my lens is um a bit different back then there you go um, i don't know if i'm gonna turn off the light i'm watching this at the same time as you right now i'm not any i'm not video proofing this at all but you see the netting it's pretty awesome that's the switch that's the battery on his arm right there. So if you're gonna replace it, if you buy this now, even if it's sealed, it's probably you know lacking some some juice in there since this figure has been released what four years ago, maybe more. Um, I'm in the hunt for the ancient predator too. You know, I kind of kind of dig his spear with a a xenomorph in it. But yeah, turn off the lights. It's a nice effect, really. Like especially in hand. Uh, I think it's pretty awesome. It kind of resembles a lightsaber, but to me it, this is better because it, it just it's holographic So it looks cool. Yeah, it's like one scene with that, but um, Still, it's a nice touch that that hot toys provided and that's what I'm worried about because if if we get another classic predator and they might base it off the uh, you know the, the original movie it's gonna have less, uh, I guess I can trade this off with some of his accessories like his necklace and all that stuff, but that one you can you can buy separately on eBay. Um, a lot of features is something you can't buy, either they included it or not. So uh, this is as close to us as a perfect predator as you could get. Obviously there's no perfect figure, but as far as value, original price of this, I believe is $220. And you can see that all, that all that it comes with. Don't, you know, don't quote me on that. Maybe I didn't Google this, you know, I didn't make a research, but I bought this pretty cheap. There was a, there was a time where this was running for 180, 150. People were getting rid of it. I don't know. Maybe they got tired of predators. Now it's kind of coming back again, but I, I love predators. I, you, every collector needs at least one predator and ideally this is the one, you know, or Berserker or Scar. In my case, it's Scar now. But uh, this is the Bible, oh, man, look at him. It's just, it just looks awesome. And Predators is, is one of those, uh, you know, designs that it came out in the late 80s, 87, I believe. And their design, it, even though it, it does evolve, but the core of it remains pretty relevant. Like you can't do, like Darth Vader, I think his design is a bit, you know, uh, old. I mean, if you have to make another Darth Vader now, it pr it's probably not going to look like him. But Predator, it still looks cool. You know, like Vader is still cool with us because, you know, he, he we grew up looking at Vader, but it's not too practical nowadays. But Predator, I mean, they still look badass even after all these years. You, yes, you're going to make some tweaks here and there, give him armors, a different biomask perhaps. But overall, the dreads, you know they haven't really made a huge overall with um with and they shouldn't you know they shouldn't touch this design because it's i think it's still pretty phenomenal and so this is how he looks like without the bio mask um uh, pretty nasty but you know this is how a predator should look like so this is the inside if you are wondering it looks like a puzzle so once you put it in 
it just kind of fits nugs right in and this is the uh, the battle damage version i think this looks pretty great actually if i had him displayed for a while like this because it, i just like battle damage pieces it adds more character you know into the figure it looks like he's been through something i don't know i just like it and uh you see the light here i'm shining so you can, it's kind of slimy the paint that they used it's i love it you know i love every every aspect of it the scar doesn't have one of these but the reason i bought scar too is because i sold this guy big mistake and um the, the mask kind of resembles the same mask i didn't like Celtic because the mask is a little bit too fancy for me I kind of want to keep it classic like this I mean you don't really need to mess around with it too much the new predators looks decent you know it's not there's a little bit of gold in it which is okay but you know again nothing beats the classic so I hope they revisit this figure so I can buy it again that was a mistake and this is the mandibles that he does have he comes with um do two different sets this is the open one go put it right here i mean you're gonna see some gaps which is i to me it, it's not bad at all because there's a lot of things going on in the mandibles anyway so if you just kind of put it snugged in it still looks pretty decent in my opinion i mean can they do something so you don't have to uh do this in the future or maybe maybe make it rubber that you know but to me this is okay you know no complaints about this whatsoever i like um changing out pieces and it's not that often and the, the the one good thing about classic predators is that he doesn't have a lot of chest armors and all that stuff so when you take out his mask uh and you put this in it doesn't look out of place you know compared to scar or um the other celtic predator i mean he is a monster with armors on it i guess it's okay in the top of the head it's nice and grimy and slimy as you would expect from any predator um i just like the overall look of the design the with or without the mask and i think hot toys captured it perfectly with this paint applications and you know the details that they they, they always provide anyway but um you know you see here different lighting options if you if you're just taking a photograph of this guy you, you can easily pass this as one of those posters um you know movie posters depending on your photoshop skills obviously because there's like little to none effort here when you if you want it if you really want to take out those those gaps those joints in in his face it's it it would take one stroke in healing brush and he would look like a you know and with all the texture and the details that's already in here i mean a few edit here and there and you can you can create a nice image that to some people who doesn't know hot toys we can can fool them that it's either a mask or an image from the internet so and this is the closed one so obviously when you get a close one you only get the two top ones you go into the side it's there obviously but it, I, again it doesn't bother me at all but look at that that menacing that is an one ugly preacher right there i got some kids who watches this channel by the way so yeah i try to keep it uh as pg-13 as possible i tried i've been trying for four years and it gets hard sometimes sometimes i want to go full out rick you know full out uh, clipper but uh <laughs> you know i got some um big bad toy store in here so and i'm gonna put them in a, a a few poses before we wrap this thing up um this is one of them yeah, i mean my, i just watching this video again just misses me this you know makes me miss this figure a whole lot more this is him checking his um his wrist right here with the you know, what's going on around him surveying the planet that he is in right now nice nice figure i also miss my backdrop you know this is a paper backdrop when i didn't have kids I believe I had one kid back then, you know, where, where things are a bit easier. Now I got two little ones running around. So uh, space is not a premium for me anymore. So now I got to, you know, settle in a small room be compared before that I got the entire basement to shoot this thing. So, yeah, it's nicely lit as well. And this is him with an open mandible, kind of like trying to attack someone, a person or another predator. 
pretty cool looking post right here pretty intimidating hunchbacked um knees down yeah i didn't know he got like i forgot how he looks like honestly you know the the cannon is 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 not engaged so he's going hand-to-hand -hand combat here or he'll eat you or something like that um i don't think they eat people i think they just do it for trophies i'm thinking about a totally different animal here but <laughs> yeah that last movie can just confuses the heck out of me you know but nice looking figure here i am lighting the subject way too much in here you know i feel like i the bottom was here um and here he is uh you know i'm trying to give you different looks as far as his mask mandible so there's there's gonna be a total of four looks honestly that you can pull off on him uh regular mask close mandible like this guy he's about to choke slam someone um open mandible just trying to eat again it doesn't eat people maybe he does i don't know that's uh it's a different horror movie he's trying to uh choke slam someone and i don't even think i did a high comparison but you know just to let you know um uh predators are always taller than regular hot soy so even if you have thor uh, a predator is gonna be a few inches uh taller than except for hulk obviously and this is him with a complete mask and again looking at the earth uh signal right there pretty nice looking figure look at that even if you just put his arms down put him in a museum pose uh he is intimidating and just a presence in your shelf uh and nothing i think i turned on the uh, light too this is one of the problems with him too sometimes you turn it on but because of the light is so it's not bright you gotta watch out for it because sometimes you know you take a picture with that on you put them back on the shelf for all you know you forgot to turn it off now the battery's drained now you gotta replace it again and then you did it again so you just wasted another battery um i, I believe they made that feature with the uh, uh terminator that it turns off after you know a certain period of time i you know it's okay it's a nice saving feature but sometimes you just want to have it on for a while so you can't really win you know us collectors are always finicky and there it is, guys. Uh, ter uh, per classic Predator from Hot Toys. This is all what it comes with. Pretty amazing figure. If you can snag it for around 250, 200, I would say it's worth it. Uh, if it's anything more than that, if, especially for the uh, exclusive edition, it's not that big of a deal, honestly. If you can get the regular version for cheaper, at least 20 or 30 dollars cheaper, I would go with that. But if you only have one predator that you want to, you know, display in your collection, if it's not wolf, I always go with a current one. But if your heart's telling you that this is what you wanted and I can't blame you, if this is what you wanted, go for it. But my price range would be for this one would be on 250 and below. 250 would be the exclusive edition. Not exclusive, maybe 220 if you could. Uh, if not, I would just go with, with Wolf. At the end of the day, you still have a Predator. It looks pretty good. Yes, it's not classic, but you know you're saving money and you're current. Uh, now, if you want to trade it down the line, you could, but uh, that's just a suggestion. Again, thank you for watching, guys. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. It really does inspire me to see that number, you know, ticking up. Inspire me to make more videos. If you haven't done so as well, please follow me on Instagram and in Facebook. And I'll see you guys in the next review.